Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this lecture we are going to study the various attributes of the WCDMA or the wide band CDMA. There are various attributes of the WCDMA or the wide band CDMA. These are service flexibility, spectrum efficiency, system capacity and coverage, improved voice capacity, fast access, modulation techniques, quality of service, seamless access, economies of sale and multi-service per connection. Let us see these attributes one by one. So the first one is a service flexibility. If you remember WCDMA provides us a bandwidth of 5 megahertz. So we can handle mixed data rates over here. Data rates from 8 kbps up to 2 mbps can be transmitted. In addition, circuit switch data as well as packet switch data can be simultaneously transmitted on a single carrier to provide true multimedia services. The next attribute is system capacity and coverage. So here the WCDMA provides up to 8 times the data rates than of the narrowband systems. So WCDMA provides improved capacity over other digital systems. It provides us with this improved capacity because of the coding gain, sectoring that has been done and also the reuse of the spectrum that has been done in WCDMA. The next attribute is the improved voice capacity. The third generation wireless systems provide a better spectrum efficiency for voice transmission. If we consider the service provider with 15 into 2 megahertz of the bandwidth available for voice communication in a sectored scenario, then in a single sector there can be 192 simultaneous calls. If we consider a three sector scenario, then simultaneously we can have 576 calls. So, better spectrum efficiency is provided for voice communication. The next is multi-service per connection. WCDMA allows the circuit switch and packet switch services of varying bandwidths to be mixed simultaneously and delivered simultaneously. So, we can freely mix these services and get delivered appropriately. The user can access multiple services like voice or multiple data services simultaneously. Hence, it provides better multiple services. The next is fast access service. The connection setup takes tenth of a millisecond to create a setup between the user and the transmitter. Hence, it provides a very fast access to the services. Quality of service. By using the rake receivers on the receiver side, we can select the strongest signal from the multiple path signals that have been transmitted. In this way, we can combine the signals and find out the strongest signal. The next is quality of service. By using the rake receivers at the receiving side, what we can do is from the multipath channel effect, we can select the strongest signal that is of our use. Also, we can combine the various signal and provide an enhanced version of the signal at the receiver. Hence, a better quality of service has been provided. The next attribute of the WCDMA is the economy of sale. No costly frequency reuse planning has been done over here. Hence, the system is very cost effective. Also, the transmitted power is very less in the range of 6 to 7 milliwatts. This provides a longer battery life for the user as well. Finally, coming to the modulation techniques used with the WCDMA. In WCDMA, DSSS, that is the direct sequence sped spectrum, is being used as a modulation technique. Here, the user data is multiplied with the PN sequence or the spreading code to spread the signal in the frequency domain. Hence, it becomes a wideband signal. At the receiver side, same spreading code or the same PN sequence is required to recollect the data back. So, this was all about the attributes of the WCDMA. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.